Hey guys, so I uh, wanted to give you an update on everything that's going on today. The Texas political director for the Joe Biden campaign, Dallas Jones, according to numerous sources inside law enforcement and according to numerous sources across the great state of Texas and uh, social media posts that are spreading, social media, media videos that are spreading, and also surveillance footage um, and surveillance uh, capabilities that I have seen um, shows that it appears that Dallas Jones was forcibly interrogated by the FBI today uh, and was in fact in, in FBI uh, custody undergoing interrogation. Now, um, I am awaiting word from the FBI and also from Mr. Jones himself. This scandal um, hinges on voter fraud, a massive voter fraud ring that's being run in the city of Houston and in Harris County. Uh, this is something that uh, some very good people and I have been working on for quite some time and that I have been reporting on. There are now a number of uh, sworn pieces of testimony and sworn affidavits, including to the Texas Supreme Court, alleging and in fact catching this voter fraud operation. A sworn affidavit provided to the district attorney just hours ago shows that uh, the uh, precinct workers we're using stacks of driver's licenses, phony driver's licenses, and matching them up with people who are doing drive-through voting. So now we have a little bit more context about all of those phony driver's licenses that are being pumped into this country through airports, including by the Chinese Communist Party. Um, and so as we, uh, uh, we have photographic evidence of that, which I published, and also sworn testimony. Um, now we also have uh, several affidavits filed to the Texas Supreme Court um, linking uh, the Joe Biden campaign directly to this activity in the 2020 presidential election. Private investigator, retired Houston police officer Mark Aguire uh, said the following, I am a retired captain with the Houston Police Department. I am now a private investigator, and this is under oath by the way. I'm currently involved in an investigation related to a wide-ranging and fraudulent ballot harvesting scheme in Harris County intended to rig the elections in the Houston slash Harris County area. This scheme involves voter fraud on a massive scale. Based on interviews, review of documents and other information, and I have seen these documents by the way, and the other information, I have identified the individuals in charge of the ballot harvesting scheme. These individuals include political consultant Dallas Jones, who was recently hired by the Joe Biden for President campaign to oversee their Harris County initiative. District 13 Texas State Senator Boris Miles, who is the handler of Mr. Jones. Political consultant Gerald Womack and Precinct 1 Harris County Commissioner Rodney Ellis. One of the companies these individuals are using as a front for this operation is AB Canvassing, although there are others that have identified that we are investigating. I have in my possession videotaped interviews of witnesses attesting to the aforementioned people having groups of people completing thousands of absentee and mail-in ballots, including completing ballots for deceased individuals, illegally going into nursing homes with the complicity of the nursing home staff, and filling out and forging the signatures of nursing home residents, signing up homeless individuals to vote using the ballot harvester's address, then completing the ballot and forging the homeless individual's uh, signature. This entire operation is being run by the elite politicians of the Democrat Party in Houston, Harris County, and that is uh, just one of the affidavits in this case. Now, we already have published photographic evidence showing that these stacks of driver's licenses were being used for drive-through voting. This is the big thing that they're doing in Houston. Drive-through voting. You can vote like it's Taco Bell because of the coronavirus scandemic. Well, the, what, what they're supposed to do is they're supposed to show an ID when they drive through, and then the precinct worker is supposed to match their ID up to uh, the voter rolls. But what's happening is they're driving through without an ID. The precinct workers are taking the ID, fraudulently linking it up with the people who are doing the drive-through through voting and giving them a fake identity in order to vote. Okay, So now we have much bit greater perspective about why so many driver's licenses are being fraudulently shipped into this country, including by the Chinese. Now, Harris County is one of the biggest counties in the United States of America. Houston is where they think they're going to be able to flip this election. This 
uh, voter fraud operation has been busted, including on tape with Democrats in the past going into nursing homes, getting the nursing home residents to simply sign off on the selected candidate that the Democrats want them to vote for. And in fact, we even have a nursing home resident uh, who was denied food until he or she agreed to vote for the candidate that the nursing home uh, operator was forcing, was forcing this old person to vote for, denying them food. Ken Paxton, the Attorney General in the state of Texas, has unveiled a number of felony charges against uh, members of this voter fraud ring in the state of Texas. Um, and right now, as the reports surge, and there's still no denial from Mr. Jones um, regarding what happened today with the FBI, allegedly. And so, you know, this is uh, accelerating and it's accelerating quickly. Um, so, you know, we have all the evidence. This has been massively confirmed in the mainstream media. My original report on Dallas Jones was massively confirmed in the mainstream media, shared by Don Jr., shared widely all over social media. This is just um, the eye of the storm right now. So as uh, more of these uh, uh, things come to light in the next 24, 48, 72 hours, we're going to be seeing this investigation uh, accelerating. Now, I don't know at this time if the Federal Bureau of Investigation's role is to help us or if the Federal Bureau of Investigation's role is to obscure what we're doing and to try to find some way for Dallas Jones to get off the hook. Okay, And it all depends on which agents in the FBI are involved in this. But the FBI has been looking into this for a long time. We know that people have been approached by the FBI, that the FBI has been knocking down doors regarding this. This is happening in the 2020 presidential election. It is now directly linked to the Joe Biden for President campaign. Um, a source of mine was, in fact, and I have the tapes to prove it, uh, was, in fact, the subject of an assassination attempt. He's doing okay. He's fine. He's a, he's a trooper. I'm doing okay. We're, we're taking every safety precaution that we can to make sure that uh, all of the information is backed up, all of the information is submitted, uh, all of the information is on the court record. There are a number of civil lawsuits where this information is now posted, okay? Um, and so uh, the information is being backed up. We're making sure that we're taking every precaution in order to remain safe. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. These people play very, very dirty. Uh, this is the dirtiest uh, Democrat operation in America. They think that they're going to be able to flip Texas. And uh, you know what? This is not the only place it's happening. We saw in Pennsylvania where the military ballots were taken out of their envelopes. The Trump votes, seven of them, discarded. And then two of the ballots were resealed back into their envelopes by county staff all over the country we are seeing this happening so you know we have uh, not a whole lot of time between now and election day but what we do have is the ability to get this information out the ability to share this information and I know the natural instinct for people who see stuff on the internet is to be a little bit skeptical about it but you know all of our credentials are, are well established over the last couple of weeks this has been in the mainstream media. This has been uh, promoted uh, by people very close to the president. So, um, you know, at this time, what we need to do is we need to beat the mainstream media and we need to share this information as much as possible. Uh, so I will be uh, sharing some more links as the information becomes available. Um, you know, this is only Saturday. So between now and Monday morning, uh, a lot could happen. And so uh, we're going to stay safe. We're going to stay vigilant. Thank you so much for everybody who's supporting uh, the efforts of, of good people who are uh, doing this kind of work. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll keep you updated on everything that's going on.